In today's video, I will be giving you tips and tricks for creating your own shonen manga in 2023. Every year, I like to look back at newer shonen series to analyze what trends and themes were popular. By studying the techniques up and coming shonen mangaka are using, you will have a better understanding of how to approach your own shonen story. I want to clarify that we will not be talking about long running shonen series like One Piece, Boruto, or Black Clover in this video. If you are interested in learning about the history of shonen manga, the big three, and past shonen jump series, I hope you could check out my previous videos after you are finished watching this one. Make sure to watch this video in its entirety because we will be studying the success of popular shonen manga series like Sakamoto Days, Undead Unluck, and Dan to Dan. But first, let's hear a word from today's sponsor. This video is proudly brought to you by Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of online classes for anyone who loves learning and wants to explore their creativity. Skillshare is the perfect place to get inspired, learn new skills, and put them to work in impactful ways. Skillshare classes range from photography, illustration, graphic design, animation, freelancing, and more. For my audience, I highly recommend you check out Skillshare's classes focused on creating comics and manga. There are so many great resources for improving your manga artwork and storytelling abilities. Right now I am taking the class Draw Manga with Clip Studio Paint, Settings, Inking, and Essential Techniques by Naomosa Matsuda. Matsuda is a professional Japanese manga artist based in Kyoto. He has published several manga titles and judged several manga competitions. He is currently a lecturer for manga universities in Japan and France. In this class, I learned how Japanese manga artists use Clip Studio Paint to create professional manga. More specifically, Matsuda's class taught me how to set up my manga page files, choose the best brushes for inking, and buying keyboard shortcuts. What I love about this class is that Masada's lessons are very easy to understand. He is able to convey years of professional experience in an accessible way for beginner artists. If you are an aspiring comic artist, manga artist, or webtoon artist, then I highly recommend you check out the Skillshare class. Skillshare is ad-free, so you can stay in the zone while you are exploring new skills. New premium classes launch every week, so there is always something new to discover on Skillshare. If English is not your first language, Skillshare's entire catalog is now available with subtitles in Spanish, French, Portuguese, and German. The first 1,000 people to use the link in my video description and pinned comment will get a one month free trial of Skillshare. Take this opportunity to invest in yourself and your goals by becoming a Skillshare member today. Thank you again, Skillshare, for continuing to support the creative community. Now, let's get back to the video. Shonen manga is an editorial category of Japanese comics targeting a young male demographic between the ages of 12 and 18 years old. Of the four primary demographic categories of manga, shonen is the most popular category in the Japanese market. While shonen manga's main demographic is young males, its actual readership extends significantly beyond this target group to include all ages and genders. Shonen manga typically focuses on action, adventure, and sports. However, there is a significant number of genres genres and subgenres within shonen manga, including comedy, crime, romance, slice of life, and horror. Shonen manga is traditionally published in dedicated manga magazines and serialized weekly, bi-weekly, and monthly. A manga magazine is typically hundreds of pages long and contains over a dozen series or one-shots. The largest Japanese shonen magazine in terms of circulation are Weekly Shonen Jump, Weekly Shonen Magazine, and Weekly Shonen Sunday. Other popular shonen magazines include Weekly Shonen Champion, Jump Square, and Koro Koro Comics. Weekly Shonen Jump states that their shonen manga promotes themes like friendship, perseverance, and victory. A shonen manga protagonist is often characterized by contradictory qualities like short-tempered but cool, serious and cynical, clumsy yet infallible, and average but with untapped potential. In some cases, this contradiction takes on a literal form in the form of henshin, or transformation. Heroes are able to switch between two personas with different appearances and personalities. Examples of this plot device can be seen in Yu-Gi-Oh!, Kaiju No. 8, and Devilman. Rivalries are very popular in shonen manga. A rivalry is a character relationship where two characters compete for the same objective or for superiority in the same field. This trope allows for both characters to challenge each other and become stronger after each encounter. Popular shonen manga rivalries include Goku and Vegeta from Dragon Ball, Hinata and Kageyama from Haikyuu, and Naruto and Sasuke from Naruto. Typically, a shonen protagonist is an outsider, or in some way disadvantaged compared to other characters. Through training, perseverance, and willpower, they are able to succeed against all odds. Shonen manga usually follows the basic plot structure of the hero's journey, with most of the story focusing on the protagonist's training and transforming into a hero. For long-running series, the hero's journey repeats itself after a new story arc begins. The first shonen manga that I want to talk about today is Sakamoto Days by Yuto Suzuki. This series is currently published in Shueisha's Weekly Shonen Jump magazine. The manga follows Taro Sakamoto, an unrivaled hitman who is a legend in the underworld. After falling in love and having a child, Sakamoto decides to retire from his life as a hitman to open a convenience store. However, Sakamoto's past continues to haunt him. In order to defend his family and humble life from past enemies and new challengers, Sakamoto must prove why he is 
the underworld's greatest hitman. Sakamoto Days is very lighthearted and filled with exciting imagery, comedic moments, and colorful characters. This series shares many similarities with shonen series like One Punch Man, Bo 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 Bo, and The Way of the House Husband. This manga series is a feel-good title that is great for readers looking to turn their brains off and relax. It is very tame in terms of violence, language, and fan service, making it appropriate for readers of all ages. What this series does well is modernizing shonen manga tropes that were popular in the past. If you were looking for cool battles, spiky-haired characters, and cartoony artwork, then Sakamoto Days is for you. This manga also perfectly blends slice-of-life elements typically found in seinen manga to create a wholesome family dynamic. Unlike most shonen series, Sakamoto Days focuses on a healthy family relationship that you can't help but fall in love with. All of these elements work together to create a lighthearted battle comedy series that is easy to enjoy. If there is one thing that I want you to take away from Sakamoto Days, it is to embrace your quirkiness. The reason this manga is so entertaining is because of the slapstick comedy and hilarious character dialogue. Don't be afraid to be quote-unquote cringy or quirky with your own work. Gag manga like The Disastrous Life of Psyche K, Haven't You Heard of Sakamoto, and Grand Blue have proven that sometimes weird ideas can be very successful. Undead Unluck is a manga series written and illustrated by Yoshifumi Tozuka. It is currently serialized in Weekly Shonen Jump magazine. The story follows follows Fuko Izumu, a young girl who has been living in seclusion for 10 years since an incident that left more than 200 people dead. She is cursed with an ability known as Unluck. This power brings bad luck to anyone who comes into contact with her in the flesh. She decides to take her own life after her favorite manga series ends. Before she is able to kill herself though, she meets an undead man with an amazing regenerative ability. His one dream in life is to die in the best way possible. The two decide to team up and uncover the truth behind their strange abilities. Undead Unluck is very textbook. What I mean by this is it follows all the story tropes you'd expect from a shonen manga. There are cool battles battle scenes, villains that need to be defeated, and character archetypes that we are used to seeing. Undead Unluck stands out with this ridiculous premise. The series pairs two unlikely characters, a muscular undead zombie, and a girl with no friends and extremely bad luck. These characters work together because Andy sees Fuko as his one chance to fulfill his lifelong dream of dying. On the opposite end, Fuko has finally found someone who won't die as a result of her curse. While the setup is something we have seen before, the chemistry between the two characters creates a fun dynamic that makes the story very enjoyable to read. The next series that I want to take a look at is the Ichinose Family's Deadly Sins by Tizen 5. This title is brand new and currently serialized in Weekly Shonen Jump magazine. The story follows Tsubasa Ichinose, a middle schooler who has lost his memories in an accident. He is able to safely reunite with his family, but is soon faced with a shocking new reality. They are all suffering from amnesia. What's interesting about this series is it is initially presented as a lighthearted slice of life story. The art style is very cartoony and light, making you think that this is going to be a wholesome story about a family getting to know each other for the first time. At first, that's exactly what the story is. The Ichinose family members must meet each other for the first time and learn how to live with each other. They try to think positively about the situation, but quickly learn that they may not be the people that they think they are. This series manages to turn everyday life into a compelling mystery with shocking imagery. The story explores the concept of identity. Can you really say that you know yourself if you were unable to remember your memories? Is the personality that you have now your true personality or a completely different person? Are the people in your life really who you think they are? All of these questions and more are explored in this slice of life psychological series. What I love about this manga is the atmosphere. Just like the characters in the story, the reader is left in the dark. We don't know who to trust or who is telling the truth. We can't even trust the protagonist because they might be an unreliable narrator. We have no idea what they were like before they had amnesia. What you can take away from studying the Ichinose family's deadly sins is that it is okay to explore topics not commonly covered in shonen manga. By taking inspiration from different demographics and genres, you can create a work that feels unique and groundbreaking. The next series that I want to highlight is Akane Banashi or Akane's Discourse by Yuki Suenaga and Takamasa Moe. This title is currently serialized in Weekly Shonen Jump. The story follows Akane Asaki, a teenage girl who aims to reach the highest rank in Rakugo to avenge her father who was expelled from the profession six years earlier. For those of you that don't know, Rakugo is a form of Japanese verbal entertainment. In Rakugo, a lone storyteller sits on a raised platform. Using only a paper fan and a small cloth as props, the Rakugo artist depicts a long and complicated comical story. The story always involves the dialogue of two or more characters. The difference between the characters is depicted only through changes in pitch, tone, and a slight turn of the head. What is interesting about this series is it focuses on an obscure subject matter. Rakugo is a concept that has never been explored in manga before. This series is an excellent way to learn about it. Similar to sports shonen series like Haikyuu, Kuroko's Basketball, and Welcome to the Ballroom, Akane Banashi introduces you to the world of Rakugo. You will learn what makes Rakugo unique, what it takes to give a Rakugo performance, and the history behind this art form. One of my favorite aspects about this manga series is the breathtaking artwork. With Rakugo, one person is portraying multiple characters. The artist of this series does a fantastic job drawing dynamic facial expressions and metaphorical imagery to set the scene. If there is one thing you can learn from this series, it is how to introduce your audience to an obscure topic and an exciting 
exciting way. In Rakugo performances, the storyteller must stay seated for the entire act. Through the use of dynamic lines and changing art style, the mangaka is able to show you the beauty of this traditional art form, while at the same time keeping it climactic, exciting, and satisfying. The final manga that I want to talk about in today's video is Dandadan Dan by Yukinobu Tatsu. This manga is currently serialized in Shonen Jump Plus. The story follows Momo Ayase, a high school girl who believes in ghosts but not aliens, and her classmate Ken who believes in aliens but not ghosts. To determine who is correct, the two decide to separately visit locations associated with both the occult and the supernatural. When the two reach their respective locations, they realize that they are both half right. Aliens and ghosts do exist. After being abducted by aliens, Momo discovers that she has psychokinetic powers, allowing her to visualize the auras of people and objects. Likewise, after being possessed by a ghost, Ken gains the ability to enter a powerful demonic state. Dandadan Dan has a very unique art style. The character designs are very energetic and blend over the top silliness with terrifying imagery. The portrayal of the ghosts and aliens allow for exploration of paranormal body horror, a concept not typically covered in shonen manga. What I love about this series is the relationship between the two characters. They work together as a team in an equal partnership. They learn to trust one another to survive the onslaught of spirits and aliens. This is a dynamic not commonly explored in shonen manga. It is a lot more common for female characters to be portrayed as helpless sidelined or an object for the male gaze. If there is one thing that you could learn from this series, it is that well-written characters are everything. This series is so enjoyable to read because the two main characters are written as equals. They challenge each other and help each other grow. They are in this situation together. If you struggle to write compelling female characters, then use Dandadan Dan as a reference for your own story. Remember, shonen manga is always changing. Something that is popular now may not be popular in a few years. By studying popular trends and themes, you will have a better understanding of how to approach your own shonen story. That's going to do it for today's video. If you got some value out of it, please leave this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my youtube channel if you haven't already over 70 percent of my regular viewers are not subscribed leave a comment down below telling us about your favorite shonen manga remember you can support me by following me on all of my social media accounts i will leave a link to those all down in the description box below as always keep creating everyone i will see you all in the next one